Yo, Vaisant here. So, they did have a live stream today and they did release a release time for when this game is dropping. So, Sword of Convalaria is a tactic pixel, neo pixel game. And they have like different modes. They have one mode with a single player where it had different uh, branching elements and stuff. And then they have the online area, which um, is like the regular gotcha stuff. And then they have like their dungeon creating thing um i guess they kind of go over that later but they do have branching stories and stuff here right okay so this is the crossing road wor world is the version of which you have like your your you grind for basic materials and stuff like that and then your fool's journey is like the gotcha stuff and it's like your typical gotcha things where you have like each round is like uh a node on the map like you go chapter one dash one and one dash two you, you do the battle and stuff like that uh spiral destiny is the the single player story mode where you can use your gacha characters that you get from fool's journey and stuff like that or um the gacha pulls and you can actually do the spiral of destinies and um they have branching paths i believe in here they also mention branching paths and stuff uh right here right so let's just go over the events that they have. So they have, this is already in the game, right? The Spiral of Destiny. And then they also have uh, Dawn of Glittering Hope. And pretty much it's like you do different branching stories of the Spiral of Destiny and you get rewards for it. They didn't exactly say what, but they mentioned it. And then they have this milestone. So, like in a lot of gacha games, they have these like guidebooks or adventure books where it's like you clear, you do a group of tasks, and then you get a bunch of awards, and you go to the next page or whatever, and there's like six pages or whatnot. Uh, so that's what this pretty much is gonna be. They say what kind of rewards, and they have a login bonus event where you get after seven days of login, you get the legendary archer guy. And a bunch of some other rewards, I guess. Uh, I don't know what the day one through six would be, but that's what that is. And I guess we can look at the the opening rewards that we're getting here. So we are getting the launch rewards is 450 pool currency. And I believe there is the other one here where it's another 300. So that's like 750. And then you also get coins and radiant powders. I believe this is for upgrading weapons and stuff like that. And I do want okay. And then down here is where they they mention they mention Gloria had their own banner. And then if it's like the closed beta, which it most likely is, they have Gloria and own banner. It's like the limited character. And then they have a banner with the two standard characters in there would have the rate up. All right, so that's. That's that. And I believe on Discord, they actually say the release time. Uh, I wish they said it earlier because I took the day off on the 31st, thinking, because then they said July 31st, PDT, thinking it's the midnight release. But no, it is actually July 31st at 5 p.m. Damn, I should, because I could took the other day off, but that's that. Uh, and that's like all the news, important news that I know of. Uh, oh, I guess the devs also mentioned. That they're gonna be they're working shortly after they're gonna drop pvp real-time pvp and guild events guild battle kind of stuff so i'm looking forward to that part oh man it's gonna be some fun time uh so i'm looking forward to this game i'll be doing a lot of re-rolling on twitch.tv slash vincente so if you come by i'll probably be looking for no no one gloria and then for other accounts that i get and then people want them i i do giveaways on the accounts right i don't really I just do it for you guys and also I have I enjoy re-rolling so that's what it is. But yeah, hopefully see you guys then later days.